lost KD about four minutes in, so obviously a heavier load for everybody else, including Kyrie. 20 points for him, but 0 for 4 in that fourth quarter. Let's hear what Kyrie Irving has to say. Hey, Kyrie, up six with three and a half to go. What was your assessment from an execution standpoint from you guys down the stretches? Miami closed the game on an 8 0 run. Uh, you know, I felt like we were in the right positions. Um, you know, let them get comfortable most of the game. So they were playing for, they were playing well, uh, hitting a lot of shots. Um, you know, so you got to give credit, like I always say. But, you know, there were some, definitely some preventable plays out there that I feel like um, we just could have been better, including myself down the stretch when they came to double. Um, felt like I, I could definitely could have made those last three shots. Just definitely trying to create some separation towards the end of the game. Um, but if just didn't come up with it. Um, and then, you know, they capitalized on it. So they definitely took advantage of the spots where, um, you know, we, we either took long shots or uh, we missed a shot and they pushed in transition and got some, got some easy looks. I know from a team standpoint, you guys professional is next man up. But on a personal level, you know, when your teammate and friend Kevin has to deal with another another injury, um, you know, how much do you feel from him on, on a personal level? It's just, it's just timing of everything this season this year just been the telltale sign of what life is right now in terms of just the uncertainty of a lot going on um anything could happen any moment so we don't want to take any anything for granted um but anytime one of our teammates goes down anytime something like that happens it's definitely going to take a hit for us um and it's just gotten back so we just pray that uh, it's not too serious and he's able to recover um, but it, it definitely has a hit on our continuity at times um, but we don't want to make any excuses for each other. We're all professionals, you know, guys that are getting uh, minutes right now. Um, you know, it, it, we need them. So it, it's going it, to it's going to turn eventually. But we just got to kind of find that that uh, continuity, that connectivity um, from the start of the game to then. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Kyrie, after KD went out of the game, it felt like you were constantly double and triple teamed. What did that allow their defense to do in terms of the attention that they paid to you and, and trying to get the ball out of your hands? I mean, it's the smartest thing they can do. It's, it's double me, uh, get the ball out of my hands, make other guys beat us. But uh, you know, I have the utmost confidence in my teammates to be able to make the right plays. And I felt like we were in the right spots for, um, for a good part of the game. Uh, but when we start off, we give up a, you know over 60 points in the first half. And, um, you know, just kind of just bringing the physicality in the second half rather than the first half. Uh, you know, it, we, we kind of got to speed up. And at times I felt sped up, uh, which I feel like when I watch film uh, later tonight or tomorrow, see some opportunities where I can attack it early, uh, the, the double team, but also continue just to trust my teammates to make the right decisions. You know, they, they do a great job of that. So. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Irea, I feel like earlier in the season, we, when we talked about injuries, it was the sentiment of, uh, we'll get it out of the way so we can be healthy when it counts. Has the mentality shifted at all as you guys are still kind of experiencing this and grappling with this late in terms of, well, maybe this is just going to be our reality? Uh, yes, uh, to your question, it's just a reality that we have to accept, but you know, it, it's we're asking a lot of guys to do some <laughs> superior things, some superhuman things, you know, to play back to backs, you know, to play three and four nights or to play, you know, six and a, eight nights or nine nights, whatever the schedule may be. Um, and then you just got to deal with what comes with that at times. You know, we just want guys to be smart, uh, take care of their bodies, do what's needed to prepare, uh, you know, for the main stage, which is, you know, the playoffs, which is to be as healthy as we can, but we still got to, um, you know, maintain a focus and a goal uh, to get more connected as a group before we do head into the playoffs. So when guys are getting hurt, you know, on any team, it's definitely going to take a hit in terms of the camaraderie, just building consistently. You know, we have a lineup that works and then one guy goes out, two guys go out. So just adjusting to that reality. So I agree with, uh, you know, kind of your question, which is, yeah, it's just a reality 